Hey guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about the important things to consider when treating your child's hearing loss so they can hear their best at home and at school. Coming up. As an audiologist, I am used to working with patients who want to hear their best in a variety of different listening situations. And with today's hearing aid technology, this usually is not an issue as long as I understand the wants and needs of every person that I work with. However, the listening needs of children are different and typically more demanding than that of adults. This is why extra considerations must be taken into account when selecting hearing aid technology for a child with hearing loss versus an adult with hearing loss. For instance, children with hearing loss are still developing language skills, which means it's very important that they have full access to speech information. This is why a pediatric audiologist will typically select a DSL hearing loss prescription for a child versus a NAL-NL1 or NAL-NL2 hearing loss prescription for an adult. DSL stands for desired sensation level, and they are now on their fifth version of this particular prescription. The intent of the DSL version 5 prescription is to ensure that children who are developing language have good access to speech information especially soft level speech information through the use of specific compression settings. The adult NAL prescriptions on the other hand are intended to make speech intelligible but also make overall loudness comfortable. Since adults have typically already developed language skills, their need for certain sounds are different than that of children. Now the style of hearing aids for children is also typically different than that of adults. The vast majority of adults are fit with what are known as receiver in canal hearing aids which are abbreviated RIC. The vast majority of children, on the other hand, are fit with behind-the-ear hearing aids, which is often abbreviated BTE. This is due to the fact that RIC hearing aids are often much smaller and can even be a choking hazard for a child. BTE hearing aids are often excellent for children because they also allow for the easy swapping of different ear molds, because as children grow over time, the ear canal size and shape changes, and you need to be able to change the ear mold without necessarily changing the hearing aid. Children often have to go into very complex listening situations like classrooms that most adults never have to encounter anymore. As an audiologist, I have spent a ton of time in classrooms and I can tell you that those environments are extremely challenging and they're especially challenging for children with hearing loss. And it really doesn't matter what grade the child is in. They could be in first grade, they could be in high school, they could be in college, and every single one of these classroom listening environments can be extremely difficult. This means that your child's hearing aids not not only have to be capable of handling listening situations outside of the classroom, but they have to be able to handle inside of the classroom as well. And the way that we make this happen is through the use of frequency modulation systems or digital modulation systems. These FM and DM systems can help your child hear their classmates and teachers substantially better inside of a classroom no matter where they're sitting. Essentially, these systems use remote microphones to take the speech of the teacher or other classmates and send it wirelessly into your child's hearing aids that are equipped to directly receive the signals. And when it comes to pediatric hearing aids that are well equipped to handle all of these different complex listening situations, look no further than the new Skylumity hearing aids from Phonak, today's video sponsor. The Phonak Skylumity hearing aids were specifically designed for the unique needs of children and have added several new features to make sure that your child hears their absolute best. But don't take my word for it. Let's see what pediatric audiology specialist Dr. Sarah Newman from Hearts for Hearing and in Oklahoma City has to say about the Sky Lumity hearing aids. So there are currently two form factors available in the Sky Lumity devices. We have the PR device, which is a rechargeable device, and we have the UP device, which is a disposable battery. It takes a 675 battery. So between those two form factors, we are able to cover the entire range of childhood hearing loss, which is mild to profound. AutoSense 5.0 is a great technology for children because it's able to scan the environment up to 700 times in a second, which means the child or adult does not have to change the settings on the hearing aids to hear their best. So for example, if it's a noisy environment, the hearing aids might turn on the noise reduction, which turns down the background noise. And then it also may change the microphone so that the child's able to focus into what they're hearing from the front, making it easier to hear and understand in background noise. So in general, it's just a smart tool that makes it easier for children to hear no matter what environment they're in. Another great thing about the Sky Lumity devices is the colors. I think 
you know, for pediatrics or even adults, I think it's really fun to pick out a color that represents that child's favorite color or their personality. And the more that we show children that they can be excited about their hearing technology and share it with the world, we want kids to be proud and, and feel comfortable in every single environment. So even if you don't care about colors, another great thing about the Phonak Lumity devices is the connectivity. So the Phonak Guy Lumity devices are made for all. It means that it can connect to anything that is Bluetooth connected. And another cool thing about it is it's very user friendly. It is easy to set up and you can connect up to eight devices, two of which can be connected simultaneously. So just ease of connectivity and even great sound. It's easy to stream your music, stream phone calls, just about anything. Phonak also created an app that's designed just for kids called My Phonak Junior. And it is designed for parents and children at a certain age where you feel comfortable to be able to adjust their devices. It allows for volume control, it allows for noise reduction, and even what we call speech focus, meaning we can change how the microphones work so that it can focus more towards the front or focus to all around. Another great thing about the app is an option to connect to your audiologist via a remote support visit, meaning that you can connect to your audiologist if you're on vacation or having a problem with the device without having to come into the clinic. And since we're talking about connectivity, let's talk about the Sky Lumity devices in the classroom. Oftentimes, hearing aids are not enough, especially in the classroom, because we have to deal with distance, background noise, and reverberation, meaning when sound bounces off the walls. It is so important for children to be able to hear well in the classroom when they're learning. Considering these difficult listening situations, it's really important to make sure your children have technology that can handle that. One of the best things about the Sky Lumity devices is that they are compatible and able to use a technology called Roger. So the Phonak Roger system has is basically a remote microphone system that allows children to hear their teachers and their caregivers and other providers better. So the Phonak Roger system involves a teacher wearing a microphone around their neck that wirelessly transmits sound to the child's hearing devices allowing them to overcome all those difficult listening situations. So that means that your child can sit anywhere in the classroom and still hear their teacher's voice clearly. So the Phonic uh, Roger system is one of the most universally used devices around the country. So more than likely your child is gonna go into a classroom and or a school district that already has experience with the Phonak Roger systems, making it much easier for your children to start hit the ground running and, and have a great school year. I would recommend that you talk to your child's school about the opportunity to get that device for your child. It qualifies under what we consider to be reasonable accommodations. The so reasonable accommodations are basically uh, adaptations or tools that a child can use in the classroom to make things easier for them to learn. Selecting the Sky Lumity devices makes it easier for your child to access reasonable accommodations because most school districts already have the Phonak Roger systems or they're very easy to get. And once we get them, it's very much plug and play. So if you're considering new hearing aids for your child, the Phonak Sky Lumity devices are great options for them. Like Dr. Newman likes to say every single time I talk with her about pediatric audiology, children are not just small adults. They have their own unique considerations for treatment as they develop through their younger years. As a parent of a child who has hearing loss, it's very important that you understand the different hearing aid technology options available to your child. But it is also very important to understand that a pediatric audiologist is there to guide you throughout the entire treatment journey. This includes properly diagnosing your child's hearing loss, selecting the most appropriate hearing aid technology, fitting and programming those hearing aids, providing your child with ongoing support, and making adjustments to their hearing aids as they get older. Your child may also have access to an educational audiologist who works for the school system. These educational audiologists can often help them solve problems that they're having from a hearing standpoint inside of the specific school that they go to. So hopefully at this point, you have a much better understanding of what things to consider when treating your child's hearing loss and that your child will have a ton of support to help them hear their absolute best at home and at school.